Hey everyone, Captain Isaac here, locked and loaded. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Remastered 9. To start things off, let's go over the basic stats of the weapon. The Beretta M9 or 92FS is a semi-automatic pistol made in Italy. It is chambered in 9x19 Parabellum. The weapon is unlocked by default at rank 0 and it has a capacity of 15 plus 1 in the magazine with 105 in reserve. The reserve ammo pool is kind of pointless because you're most likely going to die when you fire your first magazine because of the amount of enemies that are going to storm you after they hear your gunfire but it's there anyways. The damage on the Remastered 9 is quite average. 3 shots to the body, 2 shots to the head and it's a maximum 5 shot killer at a range well, it's a pistol. What do you expect from it? The weapon fires semi only, and the fire capacity is 780 rounds per minute, which is equivalent to 13 rounds per second. Which also means you won't achieve that if you don't have an auto clicker or anything. The reload time on it is doesn't freaking matter, since you're going to die anyways once you hit that button. But for the nerds that still want to know, I'll leave in the description. The damage starts to drop at 40 studs and ends at 80 studs, but it doesn't matter since you're going to fire point blank anyways. It has a minimum time to kill at 70 milliseconds, assuming if you have a trigger finger of a robot. It has a muzzle velocity of 2000 studs per second, which is quite average for all the weapons. It has a horrible penetration of half a stud, which means literally no walls can be penetrated by this gun. Well, maybe the wooden signboards. Come on, it's 9mm. What'd you expect? The hip fire on it is quite decent, but it is not recommended as pistol class weapons have fairly fast aim speeds. And the recoil? Nearly non existent. This thing literally only kicks upwards like 0 0.1 studs. You won't even need to worry about recoil. And that's all there is for the basic stats of the Remastered 9. Now, we'll go over some attachments that we should put on this thing. For the optic attachment, you can put any sights that you want, but for me, I feel like the iron sights are already clean enough. But just don't put a scope on it, unless if you're a sniper. Then, in that case, go ahead. Okay, for the barrel attachment, you're going to want to nullify that remaining low upwards recoil as much as you want. So, muzzle brake is what you should choose. Sure, it gives you horizontal drift, but heck, you get a recoilless gun after that. I mean, sideways recoil doesn't even count as recoil, right? It helps you veer towards your target if your aim is off. And besides, let's face it, this is Roblox. This ain't Counter-Strike. A suppressor can also be a viable choice for the M9, but it comes with its downsides. First off, if the suppressor reduces the minimum damage, it will take 6 shots to kill at range now. If it removes some damage off close range, then headshots won't be that effective as well, taking 3 shots. So it depends on you. As for the other attachments, the green laser is recommended as it tightens your spread and it allows you to recover from recoil faster. Heck, recoil's gun plus fast recoil recovery? Man, I'm in for a package. So, that's all the recommended attachments. Now let's see some gameplay with the weapon. Alrighty, here we have our Resident M9 user here. You see, he's got those skills, he's giving them some taps there. And, oh, he sees another one. Yeah, you can see he's been training. Look at those freaking taps. What fire cap? There's no fire cap. You see that? Yeah, easy kill. Now he's gonna uh, find the next target. Okay, now we switch map because that last match ended. Ooh, there's a guy there. Ooh, yeah, we get some easy attack on him. Yeah. Oh, super nice. Oh, ooh, there's one more guy here. Oh, didn't quite get it. You get knifed. Okay, now, okay, we're gonna pick some guys up to play. Ooh, sit down here. Oh, where are they coming from? Oh, which and who and what they're doing? Ah, oh, sit down, man. Sit the heck down. Okay. 
Ooh, there's a lot of gunfire up there. If you have a good feeling about this, oh, oh, we got two guys. One down. Got one and got two. Where's the third? There's no third. Yeah, I guess. Two kills. Pretty niche. Yeah, just your average pistol. Okay, here we see our resident M9 user employing one of his tactics to get a. Ooh, ooh, that's a double kill. Oh, is he gonna keep going? Oh, he sees some. He sees one. He sees one. Oh, need to take a cheeky reload. No, never mind. Reload cancels. Reload again. Lost him. Well, I guess that double kill was nice. Yeah, you know what strat is that? It's called Cam. Okay, now we see our uh, player here closing in on the enemy territory, and he is thinking of getting some. Cheap picks. Oh, ooh, there's one. There's one. Got him. Okay. Uh, next one. Let's see. Oh, sniper. Ooh. Shame he didn't have that perspective. Ooh, another another two guys. Nice. Double the four kills. Four kills storming the enemy team. Yeah, you can tell those are just, those were six kills, man. Six kills. Okay. Let's get to climb up this tower to hopefully pick up some more kills. Should be around around this corner or something. There it is. Yeah, you can see, you know, frantic sprays. He's got the skills. Yeah. No problem. Okay, now he's back here. We'll be a bit cautious. Oh, shots, shots, shots. He tripped. Oh. Oh, he needs to heal. Oh, he tosses a cheeky nade over there. Reloads. It looks like he's going for the pick. Got one. Yeah. More shots are seen. Yeah, he sees them. Ooh. Ooh, unlucky, unlucky, that small, that small, small opening, and he got sniped. Alrighty, I guess our Resident M9 is back here. Ooh, that's a lot of lag. Ooh, he's suppressing the hill with his uh, trusty sidearm. You know that suppression skill. Yeah, that thing has such a high suppression power. Ooh, he takes out another hill. He's gonna pick it up. Yep, got it. Now he's gonna scan for more. Ooh, they're all the hills still. Got another one. And hit markers and another. He's gonna keep on doing it. He is just pinning them down. Like a nail on a board. Ooh, sees another one. Ooh, unfortunately his teammate gets the kill. He's gonna spot some people. Ooh, loads of spots. Ooh, he's being shot from somewhere. Ooh. Checking the left side now. See one? Oh, unfortunately does not get the kill. How sad. So, to summarize things up, the Remastered 9 is a good starter pistol with a fairly forgiving magazine size, stable recoil, and average damage. It can allow about 4 kills on full health enemies before it needs to take a reload. Long range usage of this weapon is a viable choice, but uh, it's not recommended as it has a 5 shot kill at range. You can try as a wish. Heck, there is even a 6x scope for it. I mean, almost all the scopes are available already now. So put on on it if you want. For my final advice, use it as a legit secondary. Unlike the clip i shown you before, yeah, don't use it like a primary or you're gonna struggle if you don't have the necessary skills. Only use it when your primary runs dry. So, you reached the end of the video on how to use the Remastered 9. Stay tuned to this series of How to Phantom Forces as I show you how to use the starter gun. And, as always, I watch Iden Notorious videos and I'm sorry if you think I'm stealing his content. I'm Captain Isaac. Over and out. This video is a length to 10 minutes because I want to see what the uh, hell happens if it's length so far. But if you managed to listen to this record part of the recording, good job and thank you for supporting me until the end.
Have a nice day.